uh, ESD number two, it used to be the Flower Bluff Volunteer Department, talking about what happened to Bob Hall Pier and saying basically the end of that pier is simply gone now. It has collapsed, it has fallen off, and just take a look at that. Um, it's, it's not there anymore. And this is a live shot right now. Okay. Uh, with us now is Matt uh, Valadeo, our assistant uh, news director here at TV3, who's uh, showing us a live picture. Why don't you explain what we're looking at, Matt? Hey, Joe. I, uh, I'm here at the entrance to uh, Bob Hall Pier, and uh, what you're seeing here is the, the storm surge coming up uh, from the entrance. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and uh, it's going to get a little shaky, but... Uh, uh, that is the entrance right there to uh, the parking lot at Bob Hall Pier. Um, and uh, there's about two to three feet of water. The National Weather Service in Corpus Christi has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from Port Aransas to Matagorda Ship Channel out 20 nautical miles, waters from Baton Bay to Port Aransas from 20 to 60 nautical miles, waters from Port Aransas to Matagorda Ship Channel from 20 to 60 nautical miles, until 4.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.41 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing water spouts was located 35 nautical miles southwest of Brazos A70, moving northwest at 50 knots. Hazard, water spouts. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can quickly form and capsize boats, damage vessels and oil rigs, and create suddenly higher waves. Make sure all on board are in a secure location and wearing life jackets. The severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly open waters. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. The uh, landmark there along the beach, right near, not too far from Packery Channel, and Whitecap Beach, just a, uh, a very popular spot for fishermen and so forth, but it really gives you a sense of the vulnerability of those kinds of structures when you've got a hurricane in the Gulf with a surge. Okay, and, and uh, talk a little bit more, uh, Matt, if you will, about the wind. What would you say, any way to estimate how, how fast it's blowing right now? Uh, I, I am not an expert at that, uh, but I can say that it was enough to keep me from walking forward uh, at a, uh, even a normal pace. I really had to lean into it um, to even, even stand up. Um, maybe talking. give you an example here. I'll, I'll show you this stop sign right here and how much it's shaking in the wind. Um, and, and that is just wood and steel and it's shaking pretty uh yeah uh, pretty seriously we, we can tell and that's a sustained wind that's we're not talking about gusts we're just talking about sustained, Correct. sustained wind there all right so clearly uh this storm's still going on as it affects the folks on on padre island and uh, right there on the beach at the uh, at the bob hall pier area and bob hall pier is obviously going to require a, a lot of repair work Thank you. Thank you so much, Matt. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Joe. You bet. Uh, Matt Valadeo, who is our uh, assistant news director. And yeah, it, it, that, uh, that is shocking.